Hey, John, college students in Muskegon are taking drag racing to a whole new level. Yeah, our Rob Westerby takes a look at how they're setting records on the racetrack without using any gas. This may look like your ordinary auto shop, but it's not. It's at the automotive department at Muskegon Community College. And not all the cars run on gas around here. These batteries may not look like much, but they generate 500,000 watts of power, enough to propel this student-built dragster to a new speed record for electric dragsters, 109 miles per hour at the Milan Dragway in Milan, Michigan. Yes, student-built. Everything from bending the tubing and welding it to uh, wiring the thing and, and machining parts, our, our whole technical department is involved. Al Thomas is the automotive technology instructor at Muskegon Community College. Since he added alternative fuels to his program, this little dragster has been the star. The only electric dragster produced by a college in Michigan. And from the start, Al and his students have had their sights on setting records. When we first built the car, we identified a world record we thought we might have an opportunity to achieve. And uh, fortunately enough, set the 48 volt world record two years ago. That got the attention of potential sponsors, including another big fan of electric racing, Sean Lawless of Lawless Industries. He sent a powerful new electric motor, no charge. We set the record at 12.3 seconds at 109 miles an hour. Um, the car will go much faster. This one is the fastest 192 volt vehicle in the world. So what's it like to drive an electric dragster? Jeff Montella is the driver. What's unique about the electric vehicles is their initial uh, acceleration far out see, exceeds anything that you would see in a conventionally powered uh, internal combustion car. They leave from the, the starting line much harder, much stronger than you would see with a, with a, a, a gasoline powered vehicle. The biggest challenge is, is uh, just trying to keep the car straight, trying to keep it going down the track in a reasonable manner. We couldn't take the car on the track, but driver Jeff, who is still able to burn some rubber behind the shop. When it was my turn, I decided I didn't have the skill or experience to take off that fast. Where's the motor in this thing? This is actually the motor right here with those red wires attached to it. Yep. Like I say, where's the motor in this thing? <laughs> One moving part. That, that looks like about the size of a starter. Yep. But uh, the short circuit was still pretty quick from the start. At least it was to me. Whoa, yeah! <laughs> oh, that's a trip. For a community college with limited resources, um, we've done real well. And the, and the students have really put together a, a, an amazing effort here. It's not just electricity that powers the vehicles around here. This pickup truck is powered by biodiesel. There's a dragster here that's powered by ethanol. And inside the garage there, another Mustang powered by ethanol. So if you're interested in automotive technology, thinking of where to go, Muskegon Community College might be the place. I'm Rob Westaby, Fox 17 News. That's some incredible stuff. And yeah. How, how, how great for those kids, the students, to be able to put that on the resume, help build the, you know, the fast electric dragster. Putting Muskegon cool. Community College on the map. Yes, nice indeed. job. Yep. All right, it is 640.